what we had found is that Iranian trolls were pretending to be Pakistani users. And what they would do is, and when I say pretending to be, what it means is they would give themselves a Pakistani name. They would say that they are supporters of Imran Khan and like, really involved in like Pakistani politics mm -hmm. and you know all of their user descriptions would be like I love my country Pakistan Zindabad like all of these types <laughs> of very like Pakistani nationalist like slogans and right. also then they would set their locations you know how on Twitter you can say like mm -hmm. I could say I'm from anywhere right like the same way that these state-sponsored Iranian trolls would say I'm from Lahore I'm from Karachi I'm from Rawalpindi like they would actually set their locations on Twitter and accumulate massive following. Yeah. So some of these Iranian trolls actually had more than 50,000 followers that they had accumulated before Twitter actually realized that this is a state-sponsored um, information operation from Iran. Whenever people think of, you know, who does India have geopolitical tension with, it's always like Pakistan or other countries, but no one has actually realized that Iran has been responsible for a lot of these information operations on social media. And in 2020, at a time when India was sending Iran doctors during the COVID crisis, like Iran was still funding trolls to disseminate anti-Hindu disinformation. This really did spike after India began having closer ties to Israel because mm -hmm. these Iranian trolls are basically also mimicking anti-Semitic disinformation that they've historically been using. Um, you know, obviously Iran and Israel don't have good relations. They're really using that because India is getting closer to a country like Israel.